In the last episode, we were working on the companionway, the tabernacle, the tiller, and wood for the gallows. We've had some pretty rough weather recently, so it's a good job that there are still a few wooden parts to prepare inside the workshop. To start with, I needed to trace out the shape of the gallows from the plans. I did this using the usual method of an awl to prick marks through the plans onto the wood. Then I joined these marks together with a pencil and a ruler. And I decided for decoration to laminate a thin piece of southern yellow pine onto the top of the big chunk of sapili. I then used the table saw to take some of the excess off the big chunk of timber. Then I passed it several times through the timber thicknesser to bring it down to the required thickness. And cut out some of the more curved parts with the bandsaw. I did the final bit of trimming with the belt sander. And the palm sander. Before sticking the thin strip of southern yellow pine onto the top of the gallows. I then started sanding the drop board retainers which are going to go either side of the companionway. Now remember the two halves of the tabernacle from part 8? Well I screwed these together temporarily while I sanded them to make sure they ended up exactly the same shape. And then screwed and epoxied the tabernacle together. Once this had set, I used a router to round off some of the edges. And carefully sanded it ready for coating in epoxy resin. Once the pine laminate had set onto the gallows, I cut out the central notch and the overhangs at either end. And carefully sanded these back as well. Next I sanded the drop board retainers and the tiller. Then gave them all a coat of epoxy resin. See you next time when I hope we'll have some better weather. Mm -hmm.